I'm sure you're all aware that each year in Australia, many thousands of dogs are dumped, surrendered to local council pounds or to the RSPCA or whatever. And they are eventually, many of them are put down. It's a very sad situation. These days, purebred dogs cost between, say, about $300 and often over $1,000 to buy. So selecting the right dog will save you a lot of money. So Burke's Backyard has been collaborating with the RSPCA to see what we can do about the problem. And what we've done is to compare the numbers of each breed being bred each year with the numbers that are being dumped to come up with an index so that we could rank most, if not all, of the dog breeds in Australia to see which are the most and which are the least dumped, to see if we can sort it out and hopefully minimise dumping of dogs in the future. And of course the other side issue here is to make your family much safer because in particular you don't want an aggressive dog in your home. Well now I'm sure most of you are saying yeah but which are the 10 most dumped dogs? What are those 10 things that people hate that they've dumped at pounds right across Australia? Well here we go. Number 10 and they get worse as we go down the numbers. Number 10, the Jack Russell Terrier, heavily dumped. German Shepherd, English Setter. Number seven, Alaskan Malamute. Six is the Fox Terrier. Five is the Rottweiler. Four is the Marema Sheepdog. Three, Australian Silky Terrier. Number two is the Australian Cattle Dog. There's some very vicious ones of those around. But now what do you think is the number one most dumped dog in Australia. Now, are you ready for this? It's the Maltese. Now, of the dogs that appear on those dumpage lists, what are the 10 least dumped dogs? Well, they go Bernese, Mountain Dog and Schnauzer coming in at number 10. These are getting better, by the way, as we go down the list. Shetland Sheepdog, British Bulldog, Whippet, Welsh Corgis, both types. Airedale Terrier, Pug. Hungarian Vizsla, Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Now this is going to blow you away. The least dumped of the dogs that are dumped was the West Highland White Terrier. Now that's another fluffy white dog that looks almost identical to a Maltese. And that's the least dumped. And there was only one of them dumped for Australia for the entire year because its owner was sick. So the dumpage for Maltese doesn't relate to them being short, fluffy or white. There's other causes. Now, what do you think was the biggest reason for dumpage of dogs? Well, of the reasons that people couldn't help, like we excluded things like moving interstate or whatever, things like that over which people have no control. The biggest reason for dumpage of dogs was aggression. And it makes sense, it makes you proud of Australians that they protect their families by getting rid of aggressive dogs. Now, what do you think is Australia's most aggressive dog? I want you to tell whoever's next to you, what is Australia's most aggressive dog? Now here we go. This is the 10 most aggressive dogs based on dumpage in Australia. Starting from number 10, which is the least aggressive of those 10, but still very aggressive. Here we go. Jack Russell Terrier, German Shepherd, equal seven, Old English, an Australian Silky Terrier, the Akita, the Rottweiler comes in at number five, then Alaskan Malamute, Fox Terrier at number three, Australian cattle dog at number two. There's some very aggressive dogs in that group. And number one, the most aggressive dog in Australia, you guessed it, it's our little friend again, the fluffy white Maltese. <laughs> and of course, the other big reason for people dumping dogs is barking. They were just too noisy, upsetting the family, the neighbours, the lot. Here we go, the 10 worst barkers from our statistics of dumpage. Coming in at number 10, and remember, number one is the worst. The Fox Terrier, the, the Rottweiler, Australian Silky Terrier, Bull Mastiff, Pomeranian. Coming in at number five, the English Springer Spaniel, the Australian Cattle Dog, Basset Hound. Number two is the Shih Tzu. And what do you think is the heroic little dog that is the worst barker in Australia? On a hat trick, isn't it? Most dumped dog, most aggressive dog, worst barker, Maltese for all three. So what do we make of all that? Well, the first thing is, if you want a fluffy white dog, get a West Highland White Terrier. People apparently love them when they have them in their homes. But now don't forget, there were 62 breeds of dogs that were not recorded as being dumped at all. 
if you consult our fact what? sheet, you can select from one of those 62 breeds or from one of the many breeds that had a very, very low dumpage rate. So most of the breeds of dogs, purebred dogs in Australia, have come out really well on this survey. They're very satisfactory pets. There's only a handful that you would have concerns about. And I suppose I would have concerns about the people that breed these dogs. I'd have to say to them, it's time to look at the temperament of your dogs and the reasons that they're being dumped. If you care about your breed, you're going to have to lift your game. And for everybody at home, remember two things. One, selecting non-aggressive dogs means your family's safer. Two, selecting a dog that is very satisfactory, according to these sort of figures, means that you will keep it right through its life. You will save a lot of money. You're not buying new dogs all the time and you're going to be much happier and the dog won't have to be destroyed. Consult our fact sheet for the good oil on dumpage of dogs.